From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. Dear Mr. President, a warm greeting from us in Indonesia, a tropical paradise where you can get a natural tan. With more than 13,000 beautiful islands, we are proudly the largest archipelago in the world. So beautiful, so large, you love it. Some of them haven't even been named yet. Do you want to buy one for a Trump Tower? Our people is very generous too. You can grab us by the pussy, um, the islands, and we won't mind. It's true, you love it. Let's meet the Indonesian people. Our culture is very diverse. If it's not for Bahasa Indonesia as our main language, we might speak in more than 300 ethnical language and dialects. Despite our diversity, we love America very much and more than willing to copy. From hip-hop copycats, aspiring Kardashians, TV stations trying so hard to be Fox News, to of course, Obama wannabe. Perhaps, soon enough, we will have your impersonator too. Indonesia is also home to the world's largest Muslim population. Do you hate Muslims, Mr. President? We know you don't, because we are not among the countries you ban from entering the US. We're the good guys. Don't worry, you love it. As with our diverse culture, you will find great international business opportunities. You like the Chinese? We have their duplicates. You love Arabs? We have their wannabes. Seeking for Russians? We can arrange that. Mr. President, we have a lot in common. You will build a great wall to prevent the Mexicans from going into America. We will help you by building giant sea walls and reclaim beaches to prevent our fishermen from reaching American waters. Those European countries claiming to be second are fakes. They are phony. Their countries are small and not rich in resources. Their so-claimed richness came from ancient colonialism. Sad. We even beat the Portuguese, Dutch, English, and Japanese with sharpened bamboos and our special weapon of mass destruction, Santan. We are the original, large, and having great resources. Speaking of large, we also have the Borobudur Temple. It's huge, majestic, great temple. You love it. We know you love things large and great, so it's a no-brainer. We have oil and gas to be mined, trees to be cut down, and ready to be brought over to your country. Do you want to build an island? Take the sand and soil from ours. Fancy for endangered animals? Buy them from us. They're great, very endangered. Adding more artifacts to your collection? Please kindly purchase them from our local museums. You love gold? We have gold. It's perfect. We have monas with gold on top of it. It looks like a giant erection similar to Washington Monument. But our monas is a better match for you. And don't forget, Freeport. It has huge mine. Very huge, very money, much money. You love it. Outstanding record of three decades giving enormous amount of gold to America and so little in return, which we don't seem to mind, maybe because we love you guys. We also don't mind if you pull back all of your manufacturing investments to America. We will still give you our oil and gold. American retail companies and brands are always driving here all the time. So tremendous, so you don't have to worry about our financial contribution to your country. You say, make America great again? Here in Indonesia, we always keep America great. Mr. President, we are hoping for your successful presidency and wonderful relationship with us. We know it's going to be America first, but can we say Indonesia second? But we prefer the first and half. Indonesia, keeping America great while it's not. P.S. If you somehow manage to accidentally launch a nuclear weapon headed to our country, please make sure it hits the bullseye. You can find us here on the map.